one way you can think about it is go to the produce section of any store, look at your broccoli, look at your apples, look at your carrots, and then go out and find that somewhere growing in the wild. You'll find progenitors of them growing in the wild, but you won't find anything that looks like what you find in the produce section growing in the wild. And so how did it, how did we go from what grew in the wild to what you find in the produce section now? It's humans have actually been changing the plants and the food that comes from the plants over the years, long before they knew that there were genes and genetics and DNA, they were actually changing that unknowingly to them by always selecting the best looking carrot or the best apple and then improving those over time by planting those back. Mm -hmm. And so for thousands of years, humans have been changing the DNA. So in a sense, Yes, the food has been genetically modified because when they've been doing that, they have been changing the genes and, and changing the DNA within those. So, so that's true. Now, in modern days, when we talk about genetic modification, we usually talk about something with, with more modern technology. But I think you are absolutely right. And it's good to keep in mind, especially when we start to talk about modern methods like breeding, gene editing, and even GMOs.